Have you ever wondered if someone in your life might be evil? What if all this time, you've been surrounded by evil people in your life? And what if I told you that 9 out of 10 people in your life are evil? There are definite signs to look out for, so keep watching. Chapter 1. The Art of Manipulation Manipulation is one of the most insidious tools employed by those with malicious intentions. It is a subtle yet powerful means of exerting control over others, often leaving the victim feeling confused, disoriented, and questioning their own reality. Manipulative tactics can manifest in various forms, each designed to exploit our vulnerabilities and erode our sense of self-worth. Lies and Deception One of the most common manipulation tactics is lying and deception. Malevolent individuals may fabricate stories, distort facts, or conceal information to achieve their desired outcomes. They may present a carefully crafted narrative that aligns with their agenda, exploiting our trust and goodwill for their personal gain. For instance, imagine a co-worker who constantly takes credit for your ideas during meetings, portraying them as their own. This not only undermines your contributions, but also creates a false reality where your efforts are diminished, potentially impacting your career growth and recognition. Gaslighting Another insidious form of manipulation is gaslighting, where the manipulator seeks to destabilize your sense of reality and erode your self-confidence. They may downplay or outright deny events that you clearly remember, leaving you questioning your own perception and sanity. Consider a scenario where your partner constantly dismisses your concerns about their behavior, claiming that you're overreacting or imagining things. Over time, this persistent invalidation can lead you to doubt your own experiences and feelings, making it easier for the manipulator to maintain control. Guilt Tripping Guilt is a powerful emotion, and malevolent individuals may exploit it to coerce you into actions or behaviors that serve their interests. Guilt tripping involves making you feel guilty or responsible for their emotional state or well-being, often through subtle comments or manipulative tactics. For example, a family member may guilt trip you into attending an event you'd rather avoid by saying things like, I'll be so disappointed if you don't come, or after all I've done for you, this is how you repay me. This emotional manipulation can leave you feeling obligated and torn, even if the event goes against your personal preferences or boundaries. Chapter 2 the Empathy Deficit Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of others, a fundamental component of healthy relationships and social interactions. Unfortunately, individuals with malicious intentions often lack this crucial trait, leaving them unable or unwilling to consider the emotional impact of their actions on those around them. The Lack of Emotional Connection When someone lacks empathy, they may struggle to form genuine emotional connections with others. Their inability to understand or relate to the experiences and feelings of those around them can create a sense of detachment and indifference. This lack of empathy can manifest in various ways, such as Insensitivity to the needs and emotions of others Dismissiveness or minimization of others' feelings or experiences Indifference to the suffering or distress of those around them. Prioritizing personal interests over the well-being of others. The impact on personal and professional relationships. The absence of empathy can have far-reaching consequences in both personal and professional settings. In intimate relationships, a lack of empathy can create a chasm of emotional disconnect, leaving one partner feeling misunderstood, invalidated, and ultimately unfulfilled. In the workplace, individuals who lack empathy may struggle to collaborate effectively with colleagues, show little concern for the well-being of their team members, and prioritize their own interests over the needs of the organization. This can foster a toxic work environment, hindering productivity, morale, and ultimately, the success of the company. 
Chapter 3, The Reign of Dishonesty Chronic dishonesty is a hallmark trait of malevolent individuals, as it serves as a means of manipulation, control, and self-preservation. These individuals may lie compulsively, often without remorse or regard for the consequences of their deception. The Erosion of Trust Trust is the foundation upon which healthy relationships are built, and chronic dishonesty erodes this trust over time. As friends, family members, or colleagues witness repeated instances of deception, they may become increasingly disillusioned and distanced, struggling to discern the truth from faucets. The vicious cycle of chronic dishonesty is self-perpetuating, as each lie paves the way for more lies, further complicating relationships and hindering open communication. This lack of transparency and authenticity ultimately prevents genuine connection and meaningful resolution of conflicts or misunderstandings. The Impact on Personal and Professional Relationships The consequences of chronic dishonesty extend far beyond interpersonal relationships. In professional settings, chronic dishonesty can undermine an individual's credibility, making it challenging for them to be taken seriously or trusted with important responsibilities. Moreover, chronic dishonesty can have legal and financial implications, particularly in cases of fraud, embezzlement, or other forms of deception for personal gain. The breach of trust and ethical boundaries can result in severe consequences, including job loss, legal repercussions, and damage to one's professional reputation. Chapter 4. The Poison of Envy Excessive envy is a destructive emotion that can consume individuals and fuel malicious behavior. It is characterized by an overwhelming desire to possess what others have and a deep resentment towards their happiness or success. The Trap of Constant Comparison Individuals consumed by excessive envy may constantly compare themselves to others, feeling inadequate or bitter when they perceive others as more fortunate or successful. This perpetual cycle of comparison breeds feelings of inferiority, resentment, and even hatred towards those they envy. Instead of celebrating the achievements or blessings of others, envious individuals may seek to undermine or belittle their accomplishments, driven by a desire to diminish the perceived superiority of others. This toxic mindset not only poisons their own well-being but can also lead to malicious actions aimed at sabotaging or harming those they envy. The Impact on Relationships and Well-Being Excessive envy can have a profoundly negative impact on personal relationships and overall well-being. Envious individuals may struggle to maintain healthy friendships or romantic partnerships, as their feelings of jealousy and resentment create an atmosphere of tension, mistrust, and conflict. Moreover, the constant comparison to others and the perceived inadequacy that comes with it can lead to feelings of low self-esteem, depression, and a general dissatisfaction with one's life. This downward spiral can have detrimental effects on mental health, productivity, and overall quality of life. Chapter 5. The Tyranny of the Ego While a healthy sense of self-worth and confidence is essential for personal growth and well-being, an inflated ego can be a breeding ground for malicious behavior and attitudes. Individuals with an excessive preoccupation with themselves often prioritize their own pleasure and success above all else, sometimes at the expense of others. The Arrogance of Entitlement Those with an inflated ego may exhibit a sense of arrogance and entitlement, viewing themselves as superior and deserving of special treatment. They may seek constant validation and admiration from others, unable or unwilling to acknowledge the contributions or achievements of those around them. This sense of entitlement can manifest in various ways, such as Disregarding the needs and perspectives of others Expecting preferential treatment or exemption from rules Belittling or dismissing the opinions and ideas of others Exploiting or taking advantage of others for personal gain. 
the barrier to growth and self-improvement. An inflated ego can also hinder personal growth and development by creating a barrier to constructive feedback and criticism. Individuals who are overly focused on maintaining their self-image may resist acknowledging their flaws or shortcomings, preventing them from learning and evolving. This resistance to self-reflection and improvement can have far-reaching consequences, both personally and professionally. In relationships, it can lead to stagnation and a lack of emotional intimacy, as the individual's unwillingness to address their own flaws creates distance and resentment. In the workplace, an inflated ego can hinder collaboration, stifle innovation, and ultimately impede career progression. Chapter 6, The Stranglehold of Control Extreme control is characterized by a pervasive need to dictate and manipulate situations, often at the expense of others' autonomy and well-being. Individuals who exhibit extreme control behavior seek to assert dominance and authority in various aspects of life, including relationships, work environments, and social interactions. The Micromanagement Trap one of the most common manifestations of extreme control is micromanagement. These individuals may feel an intense need to oversee and direct every aspect of a task or project, often disregarding the expertise or capabilities of those around them. For instance, imagine working on a team project where one member insists on approving every detail, constantly second-guessing the group's decisions and undermining the collaborative process. This not only slows progress, but also creates an environment of mistrust and resentment, as team members feel their contributions are devalued. The suffocation of personal boundaries. In personal relationships, extreme control can lead to a sense of suffocation and a violation of personal boundaries. Controlling individuals may exhibit possessive or jealous tendencies, seeking to dictate who their partner interacts with, how they spend their time, or even how they dress or behave. This level of control can be emotionally and psychologically damaging, leaving the other partner feeling trapped, disempowered, and stripped of their autonomy. Over time, this dynamic can erode self-esteem and fuel resentment, potentially leading to the breakdown of the relationship. Chapter 7. The Burden of Irresponsibility Irresponsibility is marked by a consistent avoidance of accountability for one's actions and a tendency to shift blame onto others. Individuals who demonstrate irresponsibility often fail to fulfill their obligations or commitments, neglecting the consequences of their choices and actions. The Evasion of Accountability One of the key characteristics of irresponsibility is the evasion of accountability. Instead of taking ownership of their behavior and its outcomes, irresponsible individuals may deflect blame onto external factors or other people. This behavior not only undermines trust and reliability, but also perpetuates a cycle of excuse-making and avoidance. For example, consider a co-worker who constantly misses deadlines or submits subpar work. Instead of acknowledging their own shortcomings or taking steps to improve, they may blame their lack of productivity on unreasonable expectations, insufficient resources, or even the actions of their colleagues. The Ripple Effect of Broken Commitments Irresponsibility can have far-reaching consequences, particularly in situations where others are relying on an individual to follow through on their commitments. In personal relationships, broken promises or neglected responsibilities can strain bonds and erode trust, leaving loved ones feeling let down or disrespected. In professional settings, irresponsibility can impede productivity, disrupt workflows, and ultimately undermine the success of the entire team or organization. When one person fails to hold up their end of the bargain, the burden often falls on others, leading to resentment, burnout, and a toxic work environment. Chapter 8. The Web of Pathological Lying Pathological lying is a behavior characterized by a persistent pattern of deceit and falsehoods, 
often with no clear motive or benefit. Unlike occasional or situational lying, which may occur to avoid consequences or protect oneself, pathological lying is ingrained in the individual's personality and is often compulsive in nature. The Unraveling of Truth Identifying patterns of habitual lying involves recognizing discrepancies between what is said and reality, as well as inconsistencies in the individual's storytelling over time. Pathological liars may fabricate elaborate tales or exaggerate their experiences to garner attention, admiration, or sympathy from others. Additionally, they may deny or downplay their lies when confronted, further perpetuating deception and making it increasingly difficult to discern truth from fiction. The Motivations Behind the Deceit The motivations behind pathological lying can vary and may include a desire for attention, admiration, or control. Some individuals may lie as a means of bolstering their self-esteem or maintaining a sense of superiority over others. Others may lie to avoid confrontation or criticism, using deceit as a defense mechanism to protect themselves from perceived threats. However, the underlying reasons for pathological lying do not negate the damage it can inflict on relationships, trust, and overall well-being. The erosion of trust and the constant need to question the veracity of every statement can create an atmosphere of anxiety, doubt, and emotional turmoil. Chapter 9 Navigating the Minefield Encountering someone who exhibits signs of malevolence can be unsettling and challenging, but how we choose to respond can significantly impact our well-being and safety. Here are some practical strategies for navigating these treacherous situations. Trust your instincts. Trusting your instincts is paramount when dealing with individuals who display harmful behaviors. If you feel uneasy or sense that something is off about someone's behavior, it's essential to listen to those gut feelings. Our intuition is often a powerful guide, picking up on subtle cues or red flags that our conscious mind may overlook. Set clear boundaries. Setting clear boundaries is another crucial aspect of dealing with malevolent individuals. Communicate assertively and firmly, making it known what behaviors are unacceptable and will not be tolerated. By establishing these boundaries, you can protect yourself from manipulation and exploitation, while also sending a clear message about your values and self-respect. Limit contact and prioritize safety. In some cases, limiting contact with the individual may be necessary for your well-being. Avoiding situations or environments where you feel vulnerable or uncomfortable can help minimize the risk of harm. If the individual's behavior becomes threatening or escalates to a point where you feel unsafe, do not hesitate to seek professional help or legal intervention if necessary. Prioritize your safety and well-being above all else. Build a support system. Seeking support from trusted friends, family members, or professionals can provide validation and perspective, helping you navigate challenging situations more effectively. Sharing your concerns with others can also help you feel less isolated and alone in dealing with the challenges posed by a malevolent individual. Seek professional help. In cases where the malevolent behavior is severe or has caused significant emotional or psychological distress, seeking professional help from a therapist or counselor can be invaluable. These trained professionals can provide guidance, coping strategies, and the necessary support to help you heal and move forward in a healthy and productive manner. Conclusion Recognizing the signs of malevolence is a critical skill for safeguarding ourselves and our communities from harm. While it's important to approach this topic with empathy and understanding, as individuals may be struggling with their own personal issues or traumas, it is equally crucial to prioritize our well-being and set boundaries when faced with malicious behavior. Throughout this guide, we've explored various manifestations of malevolence, including manipulation tactics, lack of empathy, 
chronic dishonesty, excessive envy, inflated egos, extreme control, irresponsibility, and pathological lying. By being vigilant and observant of these warning signs, we can avoid falling victim to exploitation, deceit, and emotional turmoil. Ultimately, navigating the complexities of human behavior requires a delicate balance of compassion and self-preservation. While we should strive to approach others with understanding and an open heart, we must also be discerning and protective of our own well-being. By developing strategies to recognize and address malevolence, we can create healthier, more fulfilling relationships and cultivate a life rooted in authenticity, trust, and personal growth.